Here's GCN's guide to the bikes the World Tour teams will be riding in 2016. AG2R stick with Focus for their bikes decked out in this nice blue. Let's face it, round bikes just don't work. The Izalco Max is their go-to frame of choice. Astana, along with Etix, Quickstep and Tinkoff, are all sporting specialised bikes again this season. It's brought them a lot of success. In fact, the Tarmac was the most successful bike in the peloton last year, based on Simon Richardson's very scientific analysis. All three teams will get the choice of the Tarmac or the Venge, with an updated version of the Venge being released in the middle of last year. BMC are a mainstay in the pro ranks, we'll be seeing the Team Machine and the road version of the Time Machine once again. Cannondale keep their bikes visible at world tour level, their workhorse is the very stylish Super 6 Evo High Mod. We could also see the Synapse in a scattering of classics too. FDJ will be repping French brand Lapierre again this season. We've got the Zelius SL and the Air Code for extra aerodynamic efficiency. Scott have two teams in the World Tour, Yam Cycling and Orica Green Edge both have the option of the Lightweight Addict or the Aerodynamic Foil, a new version of which was released last summer. Lamprey Merida have the remodeled Sculptura for most road stages, with the Reacto Evo option for fast flat stages. Lotto Soudal have stuck to their Belgian heritage, Ridley will provide them with the familiar Helium and Noah SL models. Movistar and Katusha were the top two ranked teams in the UCI World Tour rankings last year, which will certainly make their sponsor Canyon very happy. The Ultimate and the Air Road are the choices for those two teams. Cervelo have made it back to the World Tour after a year out in 2015. I think one of our presenters rode Cervelo bikes when he was a pro. Anyway, new kids on the block dimension data have the S5 and R5 models available to them. We really like this custom silver and red on Edval Boson Hagen's bike too. Giant Alpazin have a trio of bikes at their disposal. The TCR and Propel offer lightweight and aero options, while the Defy is frequently seen in the Cobble Classics. John Dagenkolb won Parry Roubaix on this bike in 2015. The Bianchi Celeste continues to flourish under the riders of Lotto NL Yumbo. They have the racy Ultra XR2 and the lighter vibration dampening Specialissima for all day climbing. Trek Segafredo have a trio of bikes to choose from. We've got the Madone, remodeled last year and even more aero than ever. The Domane, Fabian Cancellara's choice all year round. And the Amonda, introduced two years ago as one of the lightest production frames ever. Team Sky will use their Pinarello Dogma F8s for almost all row races this year, but their K8S with its micro suspension system will be wheeled out for the Cobble Classics. Let's take a quick look at group sets. Only one team has shifted in the offseason, pardon the pun. Katusha switched from Shimano to SRAM this year. Tinkoff and Etix Quickstep have been trialling their new FSA group set, but will stick with Shimano for the time being. This means the Japanese company dominates the group set sponsorship stakes with 13 World Tour teams, with three for Campagnolo and two for SRAM. So that's your rundown of the World Tour road bikes, at least for now. With the ongoing trial of disc brakes at top level, we can expect to see new configurations, bikes and group set, particularly for the Campagnolo sponsored teams who as yet don't have disc brakes available to their teams. Which bike is your favourite this year? And which bike would you like to see in more detail? Let us know in the comments down below. In the meantime, you can check out the shiny new 2016 kits or see some of these bikes in more detail in our Pro Bike playlist. We bring you a new Pro Bike every Saturday, so make sure to subscribe to make sure you don't miss a single video.